Hey, what's up, Warriors? Let's jump right on in. I'm getting ready to make some fried green tomatoes. Let's go. Okay, so after you have your green tomatoes kind of sliced in, I'll say maybe quarter inch thick slices, you wanna take you some sea salt, whatever salt you have on hand, and you're gonna salt these, you're gonna spread them out on paper towel. Um, I have them on baking sheets uh, on the paper towel. And then you're gonna slightly salt them. The salting is gonna draw all that water out of there. And also, when it draw in the water, it kind of seasons them a little bit for you as well. So, ooh, so do that over all your tomatoes. My mouth is water. <laughs> I'm gonna turn them over and do the other side. So same thing, just flip them over, salt them, let them sit off to the side and you can actually start preparing your batter or your sauce, dipping sauce, whatever, while they take their time sweating. All right, while your tomatoes are over there sweating out, getting all that water drawn out, I have a bowl here with three eggs. I'm gonna mix some buttermilk. That buttermilk is gonna give it the flavor it needs. And it's also gonna make your batter stick better than using like regular milk or anything else. Good and thick. Now that your buttermilk egg mixture is pushed off to the side, want to get your meal and breadcrumb mixture. Just mix that up. but I'll put that to the side till I go measure out some meal. Then in a separate bowl, we want to put you some flour. That's just um, some all-purpose flour. I don't have it much, so you don't need a whole lot. Inside of that, hold on. Of this flour, I'm gonna add in some Tony Saturies Creole seasoning. Ooh. And onion powder. Mmm. Baby, that pepper in there don't play no games. Mmm. Onion powder. Mix well. All right, now I'm also gonna make up the sauce. It's not a traditional remoulade, which I do know how to make that. Um, however, this is just a tried and true sauce that I know is gonna taste really good with those fried green tomatoes. So these here are just some capers that I'm kind of just chopping up a little bit. Because I just, I'm, I'm big on textures and mouth feels. I don't want a big old caper dipping my tomato and, and chomping on a big old caper, but I just cut him up a little bit. Like a rough, just a rough little chop. I'm gonna 
add that into this bowl. In the same bowl, okay, I'm gonna add some mayo. I have Duke. I love, love, love the creaminess of blue plate mayonnaise. However, I do not live down south, so I can't get it until I go visit it. I usually buy a couple jars of it when I go down to see family. We don't have it up here, but but um, this Dukes, I'll, I'll go ahead on and roll with the Dukes. So mix that up. Then take a little Dijon mustard. Mix a little Dijon in there. You're gonna add some Worcestershire sauce. Some hot sauce. Let me go grab my smoked paprika. Set this aside. You can serve it. If this this is all pretty uh, chilled still because everything came out of the refrigerator, but go ahead and set this back into the refrigerator to let it just stay nice and cooled and chilled while you get ready to go fry up your tomatoes. You can also do like minced garlic, just so you know you can add some minced garlic in there that will kick this up even more. And you can squeeze a little bit of lemon. I might do that off camera, but just letting you know those are options. Y'all forgive me, I forgot to add a little bit of these green onions in there. I knew something, something wasn't jiving. Add that, mix again, place to the side, okay? Delicious. I already tasted it off camera. It does not need any like salt in there because it's salty enough from the capers and the hot sauce has salt, so it's good to go. Take a look at how these have sweated out. All that water's come up, the paper towel is soggy. Just so y'all can see. All right, so these are ready to be battered and fried. All right, our station is set up. We got flour, egg and buttermilk, meal and breadcrumbs. Can't be scared to get your hands dirty with this meal. All right, y'all, I got them out of the grease. I topped it with some green onions. Look, I'm getting ready to mess up. With that dipping sauce. Looks good, don't it? Let me get you a better angle. Mm -hmm. Let's taste. Here we go. Y'all. Please get you a cooling rack. I always recommend a cooling rack when you frying anything. I understand some of us grew up with that, just use the paper towel. And if you that's all you have to you know use, go for it. But that cooling rack could change your life because your food will stay crunchy. Just watch. Look at that. Mmm. Mm-mm. -mm. 
do good to others, you definitely do good to yourself. Mwah.